CVA's Acura Series, Bagara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. All right, everybody, this next segment's being sponsored by our friends over at Courtney's Restaurant and Catering. They're at 4066B North Mount Juliet Road in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. You guys can call owner Tom Courtney and the crew for all of your catering delivery needs at 615-754-7548 or stop in the restaurant there and get some of the best food you can possibly get. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whatever you want. If you leave there hungry, it's your own fault, I promise you. All right, welcome back. Um, we're just kind of chatting now with uh, Shane McBroom and J.R. Sweat here. We've been talking about Hope Outdoors and some of the things that you guys do and some of the people that y'all serve and kind of what, what it's all about. Um, what are some of the upcoming events maybe that people can be looking, looking forward to or might need to try to get involved with? Well, we got a deer hunt. Uh, it's going to be December the 4th, 5th, and 6th that weekend. And uh, we're taking sign-ups now online. And uh, the hunters that, uh, that want to sign up to hunt you can go on the website at hopeoutdoors.org and uh, there's a place to sign up there under each chapter. So we have like 17, 18 chapters and yeah. um, I think there's three or four right now that's that's uh, posted hunts and they have the dates there and so they can put in for those and yeah. it's just wherever they want to come to. Great. Your, your chapter is the West Tennessee chapter. Yeah, ours is the West Tennessee chapter and we're the only Tennessee chapter right now um, in Tennessee. So. Okay. If they want to come hunt Tennessee, they can Be, sign up. You know, West Tennessee side. Yeah. And, that, and I'll tell you, uh, Tyler, you'll know who I'm, I'm talking to, had a, a young man named Tyler call me today and ask me how to possibly get in touch with you guys. Um, he would really like to go hunting with y'all, and I told him that tonight you would let him know how to reach out to him. So, Tyler, there you go. <laughs> go over to the website, get signed up, and, and uh, somebody will be there to, to guide you and get you get you set yep. up, try to get you on your first deer. Um, but that that's great. So that's what they need to do as far as getting signed up for any of your events. Just go over to the website, yep. and, you, and you'll have events posted there. Um, what about people that might want to get involved on the other side? Like, say they want to be a guide for you guys, or they have a farm that hey y'all can bring a couple hunters out here do they just they need to reach out to you personally or, or they uh, can okay I mean they can I'm on Facebook uh, you can go to Shane McBroom my page or you can go uh, we got a Facebook page as well Hope Outdoors yeah, right and so they can go on there and message them and say hey I want to get in touch with the guy in Tennessee yeah you right. know Tennessee chapter and so they'll give you my information and uh, you just contact me and I'll be glad to talk to you and uh, let you know when the date is, um, all that information. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that'd be great if they want to volunteer. That's even, you know, even better. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I mean, like I say, that. that's that's what it takes to make these kind of things happen. I mean, you guys are there and you do loads and loads of work, but you cannot do it alone. I no, mean, you've it, got to have, you know, again, you've got to have farms to hunt. You've got to have guides. Yep. You've got people that take out the caregivers. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. it, takes, it takes a lot of support for that. So if yep. any of you guys uh, or gals would like to get involved, by all means, reach out and find out how you can help uh, and get behind this deal, you know, and, and possibly. Yeah possibly get involved in some way um, JR you gonna be you gonna be doing the uh, the deer hunt you said you had a couple of hunters gonna be coming out on your places and we are you do. gonna be guiding yourself as well I'm gonna be guiding myself and my son and uh, Logan Barber are gonna be guiding we we uh, we've picked up a new farm this year and we're gonna be able to carry three to that farm one to one of my older farms and uh, Logan's going to carry one to his farm, so yeah. um, you know we're we're really excited about it, and mm -hmm. we're really excited about uh, the turkey hunting coming up, and uh, and uh, and the duck hunting. Uh, we're still. Uh, but I'm yeah, going to say I'll, that. I almost didn't think about the duck hunting. I'm going to I'm going ahead and say that <laughs> we're we're in the process of looking for somebody that. Uh, has got a, a blind that uh, that we can carry eight or ten uh, people in and do a day's duck hunt. Um, if you got one of them, go to hopeoutdoors.org. Contact me. Contact <laughs> Shane, and uh, and he'll get right on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, again, another way that people could, could get involved and help, you yeah, know. That's right. Because um, you got to have somewhere you can take them. you gotta have, you yeah. got to have a ability to be able to get them there and get them in there and, and a place to go. So, uh, and that duck hunting, now that's one of your big things, isn't it, Jay Armin? You're pretty big into the duck hunting, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. I absolutely love to duck hunt. Uh, I'd rather duck hunt than I had eat or sleep. But <laughs> and I do the rest of it. I try to get my deer killed before duck season. Yeah, I yeah. try to get a process and put up. <laughs> and uh, most all of my tournaments stop before duck season, so. Uh, I can just sit back. When you're the tournament director, you can make sure it falls that way, can't you? <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> That's kind of like, you know, some people are that way, and then I'm a late season duck hunter. See, when I'm done deer hunting and deer season wrapping up, I got a couple weeks I can go do a little duck hunting if I got somewhere to go. Yeah, well, I'll already so. have something in the freezer, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's still comp competing at that point with rabbit chasing, too. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but, it, you know, it, it's really good that, that you guys get involved in so many different types of, of hunting and fishing trips. Uh, are there any other uh, fishing events other than the catfish tournament? Yep, we've got, uh, well, I say, yeah, we've got, uh, starting September the 1st, the oldest catfish tournament in the country, in the whole United States, and that is the National Championship of Catfishing. This is our 80th year, and uh, it's held out of Savannah. It starts September the 1st, goes to the 26th, uh, September, September, there's weekly uh, weigh-ins. You you fish for a week, and we have a winner in that week. Yeah. Fish for another week, and we have a winner in that week. Uh, and all of that culminates on the day that we put on the World Championship of Catfishing. And all of that is held out of Savannah. Uh, you can uh, go to National Catfish Derby page, or you can go to Tennessee River uh, Productions page, my Get personal page. Uh, and get plenty of information on it. Uh, or you okay. can even call me personally, 731 610 9863. Well, guys, we've got to get ready to take another quick break. We'll be right back here in just a minute with this week's count over the week and some more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 